Hey y'all. So, I'm going to harvest some of my cucumber melons, the lemon ones. Um, I didn't grow any regular cucumbers this year. I thought I did, but apparently not. Um, but I'm actually using mine to juice because I really don't like eating them. I did make a salad um, the other week, but I would rather not eat them. I just don't like the taste. I could have done better with my cucumber melons this year, but I didn't. But there's still some coming in. Ooh. But I'm going to pick these. I'm going to turn them around. I don't even see the, I ain't even clean up none of this. But here they are. And I'm going to just pick them before they go bad. And I don't see any holes in these. You can see like those little worms that be drilling into them. Look, there's another one trying to grow. So I got to cut these off so I don't waste anything. And then I got to pick some. All right, buddy. From this side. And again, it may not look good, but it's producing. See all these? All right, y'all, so I have, I'm going to start out with two. I got two cucumber melons, all right, the lemon ones, a piece of garlic. I love garlic, so this may be a lot for you, but for me, it's perfect. I'm starting off with two apples and then two stalks of celery. I'm also going to add pineapple. Uh -oh. And, of course, I'm going to save the top. Yes, buddy. All right, and again, you just twist. Hold on, y'all. Grab it closer to the bottom. Twist. That's it. And then you pull off these little bottom leaves, and you know you can already see it, the little roots coming out. Can you see some of them? You just peel these off. Again, I have a video on that. I have one still growing over here from two years ago, but you'll start seeing. See the little roots coming through? All right, you just put that in water or you can put it in dirt. Again, dirt turned out to be the best for me. And this one over here, sitting on the counter, has been sitting in water. And it's, look at it. You can see the little, let's put it in a spaghetti jar. And it's been growing like that. All right, so don't mind this part. But look, look at that new growth. So it's been sitting here. So again, you can put it in water or you can put it in soil. I'm going to put that to the side and I'll get to that later. But yeah, y'all, so I'm going to cut these up and we'll be back. I'm going to juice them. I'm going to strain the extra pulp. If you like the pulp, which I do, um, get the rest of that out. And then I'm going to add some sea moss that I made um, last week into my juice. All right. And just a reminder, this was, I made these last year. I didn't put the date on this one. But these are the cucumber melons that I canned and harvested from last year. See that? Still some good. I even gave some of these away. Do that so you can see. See that? All right, but again, today we're gonna juice. And I have all these other um, cucumber melons left over. So I'm gonna wash these up later and harvest these.
So I'm gonna save the other one for babe. I'm gonna try this right now. You know what? It kind of tastes like I mean it's warm right now. But it kind of tastes like a pie. Like a sweet potato pie or a bean pie. Which is weird. So I'm going to let mine chill and see how it really tastes. But I really need to get back into my juicing. I got everything I need to do it. So it's really the process. I hate really blending it, getting it prepped, because that takes the most time. But y'all, this is good. And I can hardly taste the cucumber. I taste more of the celery, I think. The celery and the ginger. All right, and two of each made this much. It probably it would have filled up one of these. And I added um, three, mm, I would say tablespoons of sea moss, which is good for energy and everything else. And it thickens it up a little bit. Um, and you can leave that out if you want. And I made mine with a little bit of cinnamon, my sea moss. So it's a hint of that, but I can't taste it. Y'all, that's it. Lemon cucumber juiced. Thank you.